Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Gunpla Quick Fix. This one, we're going to be doing a couple of little modifications to the mace of the HG Gundam Barbatos. <laughs> Alright, so this is one that I've wanted to do for a while, basically since the HG Barbatos came out, so a really long time. I've been wanting to do this video, just do this little modification here. Um, and uh, yeah, there's going to be two things we're going to be doing. Uh, one thing is we're just going to extend the uh, length of the actual handle on this, because I've always felt that this is a little bit too short. The other thing is we're going to make this into a working pile driver on this, so uh, there's a couple things. We're going to do first, I think, uh, first thing we're going to do is just take this apart. Alright, so I've got my, just two pieces of runner here. These are in two different sizes, I've already checked these. These are just cut off pieces of runner. Uh, this thinner one is one that I've checked that should fit inside here uh, to make into our pile driver part. This one is a width that pretty much matches the width of the handle here that I'm going to use to extend the handle a bit. So basically where, the first thing I need to do is uh, decide where I want to put the extension. Uh, I want to put it, I think, here, but then uh, this piece at the top does seem to be sort of good there. I'm not going to extend it all this full length. This is just cut to this length just here for an example. I think for the sake of ease, I'll just extend out the back so you see this, this, this last little section there. I'll just cut that off and cut this flat and then I'll just be able to glue this uh, straight onto there. I'll actually probably use a small little piece of rod, so let's see here. I could saw this with a micro saw would be kind of the most precise way to do it, uh, but for those people who may not have a micro saw, I'm just going to just cut this with that. And then of course that cut is not going to be perfectly straight, so I can then go at this with a just hard sanding stick and just sort of make that so that it's flat on the end. Alright, so once that's all cleaned up and flat there on the end, then I need to decide uh, what length I want to add to the end of this. I don't think I want to add all that much onto there, but I might as well just make it pretty long. So um, basically I'll just take this piece of runner that I've cut off here. You can see the ends are not very flat at all, just really rough cut. There's also a mold line on here. You can see that so I'm going to sand this a bit just to get rid of the mold line and just give this, uh, give this nice and sanded smooth and then also clean up the edges. One edge I need to just make perfectly flat to fit up against with that one and then the other one I'm going to make into like the similar shape like that piece that we cut off there, sort of like that at the end. So uh, just going to sand this with some sandpaper. Alright, so here we go, this piece is done, flat on this side and uh, comes to a sort of a point uh, at that end. Just basically just cut that with a knife and just kind of sharpen that up with my hobby knife. So then later I can just, just glue that straight onto there. Uh, just to make it extra secure, I could put a pin there if you had just a little piece of brass wire. I do have some uh, brass rod uh, that you could use for that, but again, just to keep this simple, uh, I'm going to use glue. Glue should hold there fine if you use a Tamiya Extra Thin Cement. Uh, just put that on there and just make sure you give it enough time to um, harden. Obviously with just being the shape of it and having such a small connection point, um, not going to be like super strong. I wouldn't go around like testing that, but anyway, we'll save that for later. Let's work on the pile driver first. So basically what I'm going to do is just uh, uh, clean out this shaft here and cut off the end there. And then I'm just going to form this into, just like we did with the other one, just make it a point on one end and then just form this so it'll fit into there and you'll be able to slide it in and out. Uh, one thing that I want to also do is I'll set an anchor, just glue a piece of, a larger piece of plot plate onto the end so that will fit like inside this space here. So like when it'll be down, it'll be down to there and then you can pull it out and they'll have like a stopping point uh, when that like anchor hits to the end here. So it will come out to about to there. So not really too far out. Um, but then my, the point is that I want it to, when it's down, when it's down to there, it won't be sticking out super far. Um, 
you could do it without an anchor and you could have it like come out as far as you want or come all the way out uh, but just so that it will just, just be moving without coming all the way out that's how I'm gonna make mine uh, so basically the first thing I would want to do is to cut off this end there so there we go that guy is gone and then I'm just gonna kinda clean that up a little bit with my knife here then of course just need to cut off the top of the other side as well anyway kinda of rough at the moment but that's okay we'll clean it up more here in a bit The point is that when we stick that back together we've now got a sort of a hole there it's enough of a hole that I can then uh, the easiest way I think it's gonna be to to get rid of this stuff here in the center those holes is just to just drill drill down a straight through those so I'm just gonna stick this together and then we'll just be getting rid of these uh, holes there as well and then later I'll just I'll just glue it so it'll be fine together without these pegs so we really won't need those pegs for the connection it'll just we'll have this one big peg there at the bottom will be enough I think so uh, just gonna hold that firmly together and pull out a larger size drill bit here I can tell this drill bit is slightly smaller than my rod, so just using this drill bit and then trying to fit this rod in there, it's not going to fit. Uh, but, so what I'm going to do is actually just make this a little bit thinner. So, easy kind of way to do that is I'm just going to do this a bunch on it, just like uh, go around this. Just That'll just make it just slightly thinner, just uh, spinning that uh, while just kind of shaving away at it, just to make it just slightly thinner. Uh, so anyway, let's drill first and then we'll get to that. There we go. Looks messy, but it's mostly cleaned out. Uh, so yeah, that actually worked pretty well, actually. I was expecting to have to go into this with a circular file more, but it looks like it really won't need a whole lot. Uh, just for good measure, I will take my circular file to this uh, just to check that path, but it seems like it's going to be pretty much okay without too much filing at all. So just clean that up a bit with my knife, and then I'm just going to drill this out again just to make sure that that is smooth on the inside. Alright, so after a whole lot of shaving there, uh, shaving and sanding, I got this end to a point and I got this thin enough now so that it fits down into there nicely like that. Uh, that'll fit down nice and far, I think, to, that's all the way to the end there, and it's there, but this will be sticking out a little bit more because I haven't added the anchor onto the end of that yet. So, what I'm going to use for an anchor for that is just the original tip piece that I cut off I'm just gonna glue on here to the end so that will be big enough and just resourceful I think so again just gonna use some Tamiya extra thin cement just a drop of glue on there should be enough just to hold this on there I'll just press that for a minute then that will keep that inside now I'll set that down for a minute and let that dry before we move on alright so a few minutes later that should be dry enough also uh, cleaned up my mess here and just uh, went over the edges of this with a sanding stick uh, to just get that ready to glue this together so as we can see here once this is closed up, this is going to fit in here like that. So when it's just in like that, and then it can be pulled out to there before it's then stopped, so the power driver will stick out about that far. Uh, the only negative side, only negative point, I guess, to doing it the way that I'm doing it is that uh, you can't remove this part for painting. So when painting it, I'll just have to like pull it all the way out there, spray this, and then put it back in so that uh, the power driver is all sprayed. Uh, the, only, the other thing that I'm worried about is uh, the glue sticking to the pile driver part so that that gets stuck there so I definitely need to be a little bit careful with my glue application
All right, then also going to glue our extension onto the end. All right, so after giving that glue some time to set, uh, that's pretty straight. Again, the better way to do that would be using a brass rod in there to just make sure that that connection is strong. It's not a lot of area to glue. The glue will hold nicely, but just gonna have to be really careful with that. Also, it would be cool to just like scribe like a couple of lines going around that as well so it doesn't just look like just a plain rod. Uh, again, that's just extra stuff that you can do. The point of this video is just to give you uh, some ideas, some really basic ideas of just how I'm doing this. You can do it differently if you want. Uh, and then the pile driver is just here and then can come out to there. So that's pretty cool. Some glue will just sand that and all of that fun stuff later before painting. But anyway, it's all done. So why don't we check it out with the Barbatos? So obviously the mace is going to be quite a bit taller now and I, I think it looks much, much better with a longer handle there to be honest. And you should recognize this Barbatos. This is the Barbatos that I did some, a little bit of detail painting on in a previous episode of Gumpla Quick Fix. Um, haven't really done anything else to it since then, so again, just the, the Barbatos there is mostly just the bare plastic with just a little bit of details painted on there. But anyway, really happy with how this sword mace came, uh, with how the sword, with, uh, there's no sword, with how the mace came out, uh, once it's all painted and all one color, it'll look really nice, I think. Actually, come to think of it, if you're, say, the kind of person who doesn't paint and you're going to be working with this kit, uh, trying to do this uh, modification here, I didn't, I didn't have any runners of the same color on hand, but if you had this, the runners from the kit, you could use uh, pieces of runner that are the same color and then you could make this and the colors would match and then you, I guess, wouldn't have to paint it if you're not going to be painting it. Again, the only tools I use to make this is just nippers, a hobby knife, and a drill. So if you just have those three simple tools, you can make this and you can make it uh, look fine without any painting uh, if you don't paint. But of course, um, you could paint that. So anyway, that's it for this episode of Gumpla Quick Fix. Hopefully this was uh, useful for someone to maybe try this. Uh, we'll be doing more stuff like this just whenever I get a chance, so stay tuned for that. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you have any other questions or comments about this, you can leave those down below. If there's something that I missed, uh, just let me know and I'll try to answer that for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.